Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a former opera singer turned voice actor. Today I'm going to be listening to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It has to be this way. So when the Metal Gear Rising games came out, I wasn't necessarily drawn to them. It wasn't where I was at at the time. I did, however, just buy Metal Gear Rising on the Xbox. So I'm excited to take a look at it and really check it out. So I'm expecting this to be totally out of my wheelhouse, my standard stuff that I listen to. But I'm really excited for this. It was a Patreon request. And I'm really looking forward to hearing it. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be super intense and uh, probably crazy rock and metal music. So let's dive in. So despite the fact that this song is completely out of my comfort zone in terms of just the way it's structured and stuff, it, obviously it's a metal sort of vibes, we can deduce a few things. One, this electric guitar and this furious heartbeat symbolizes Raiden in a few ways. One, it symbolizes how he's like a cyborg, if I remember correctly, like he's had all these augmentations and enhancements, and it's sort of it sort of carries that along. When we hear that music, we say, oh yeah, okay, he's not as much human as he once was, and so he's propelled forward by a mission. So you hear that electric guitar, and it's also like this super impactful thing where it brings this intensity to to the character where like we know that this guy is not going to take any crap. This guy is, is ruthless. He's going to get the job done. He's going to save the world. He's going to do what he needs to do. And you feel that both in the drums and also with the electric guitar. I also wonder like how much of Raiden is still in there. Again, I, I've never played this, so I don't I don't know. I mean, I remember him from MGS2. I remember him seeming like, like a very good-natured character and, and really well-rounded and just trying to do his best. And I wonder how much all the time that's gone by since MGS2, since we last saw him, how much has he become sort of jaded and conflicted by the world and a lot happened to Raiden in the second game. So, 
you know, I think there's a there's like a quest and a thirst for revenge. I guess revengeance. It's vengeance plus revenge. So he's he's looking to take some names here, and you definitely get that sense just from the way it's written. Of course, the lyrics are exemplify that sort of desire. Violence breeds violence, but in the end, it has to be this way. So clearly, this this is a person on a mission to seek out and put down the folks that he feels. Uh, are deserving of of that of that fate for whatever reason. Anyway, let's finish it out. Those are some just preliminary thoughts. the end bum 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 that's uh that's setting it up that's that's uh like something big is about to come you know like we're i'm I'm on a mission i'm gonna go take care of what i need to take care of and and you know i'm looking at these lyrics and standing here i realize you are just like me trying to make history but who's to judge the right from wrong when our guard is down i think we'll both agree that violence breeds violence but in the end it has to be this way so, it, I mean, we're talking about a mercenary, we're talking about blurred lines, we're talking about gray area, we're talking about doing things that have to be done, you know, not everything is right or wrong, and it's not so, it's not so black and white, it's not so crystal clear, and I think that that, that is the, the sort of the ethos of this game, and this story probably is that, like, you know, things need to happen, and they may be ugly, but you know what, who's to judge, because you certainly can't you know what i mean so i think it's also there's a sense of determination here too because i've carved my own path you followed your wrath but maybe we're both the same Raiden had to do what he had to do and you hear that sort of uh confident pushing forward and like staking his claim i guess or taking the bull by the horns and uh and really like marching forward and doing what has to be done for what he believes he has to do as a character so i definitely hear that Yet staring across this barren wasteland, I feel new life will be born beneath the bloodstained sand, beneath the bloodstained sand. So this is all about new beginnings and marching forward. And yeah, it, it's that's the vibe I get from this piece. It's it's about a person stepping into themselves and saying, you know what? I am who I am. This is what I need to do. And I'm going to go and do it. And uh, there's a sort of a, a forthright confidence and a sense of direction that that I think perhaps riding in this moment finally feels i could be completely way off i mean this is this is it's hard for me because i can't pick up on some of the usual clues that i would pick up on if this was a different kind of piece of music or if it was orchestrated slightly differently but that doesn't take away from the fact that like this is still painting a picture and with words for the listener to to grab something from and understand characterization you know so often in singing and in, in classical music and in opera um when we hear themes 
they infer to us as listeners what we should be listening for. So if we hear something really serious and powerful, we think, oh, this this person on stage is is of significance. Whereas if we hear like a long legato line and violins and everything, and you know, we hear like oboes and all sorts of stuff, we think, oh, the this person is in love with another person. Like there there are all these musical cues that we can infer things from. And even though this is metal and hardcore and with, you know, double, like all these drums and, and uh, hardcore beat and stuff, that doesn't mean that we can't take something away from it. But obviously, this song could live out of context of the video game, and especially it's helpful in the context of the video game. So I'm pretty sure the whole soundtrack is like this, and it's, I mean, it's definitely awesome. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a trip, all right, that's for sure. But yeah, music's ultimate goal is to assist the listener into making deductions of, of, of a character or to elicit a feeling. So I think it really nails it out of the park. And um, in, a, in an epically badass way, too, might I add. So, so yeah. Anyway, that's me. If you'd like to make a request or support the channel, feel free to check out the Patreon. Um, I have links in the bio. Not a requirement, but it's always appreciated. And then um, if you want to join the Discord, feel free to also click that link in the bio. It'd be great to have you and chat about music. And, yeah, as always, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>